some of these kids have sexual trauma in their past, and you're allowing him to come in here and yes, they're having sex with their teacher. He's my boss, man. Yeah, but you got to protect these kids first before yeah. him. Yeah. Right? Period. Yeah. And then yeah. An update from Karabek High School today. After more than a week of controversy, the investigation of teacher Tony Francis is over. Francis submitted his resignation this afternoon, even though the school said it found no evidence of any inappropriate conduct of a sexual nature with students. New Center Maine's Sam Rogers has been following this story since the start. He joins us live from the, our Bangor newsroom now to give us a timeline of that investigation and what to expect next. Hi, Sam. Hi, Samantha. This meeting between Superintendent Tracy and Francis coming one month since the school launched an investigation. It came after a complaint about Francis was filed to the superintendent. The first reaction, a student walkout on November 15th. Karabek High School students protesting the suspension of their math teacher. Students upset he was accused of misconduct within the school and calling for the removal of Superintendent Mike Tracy. Francis joined the students this Friday morning, thank you, thankful for the big show of support. And then the parents got involved. Oh, and you're going to be hearing from my lawyer. Wait, wait. That's Leah May, who has a daughter at Karabek High School. She was one of a reported 300 parents who signed and tried to go. deliver a petition at the school board meeting just two nights ago. That petition calling for the removal of Superintendent Tracy. Turns out no personnel attacks are allowed at RSU 74 school board meetings. Parents still furious they weren't informed about the investigation or about students being asked sexual questions as part of it. Superintendent Tracy says there is no law or policy that forces him to inform the parents of any investigation or release what questions are asked. Today, Francis and Tracy coming to an agreement for Francis to resign rather than be fired. Samantha? Sam, was today's meeting between teacher Tony Francis and Superintendent Mike Tracy the end to all of this? Samantha, actually it is not. Despite Francis submitting his resignation, this is not over. The goal of parents from the beginning was to remove Mike Tracy from his position as superintendent, and they tell me they will continue those efforts. Leah May created the petition and she will meet with the superintendent on Monday where she will voice her concerns to him directly. As far as Tony Francis, in the short term, he will begin to look for a new job in his long term plan, joining the fight with outspoken parents who will continue to try to remove Mike Tracy from office. In Bangor, Sam Rogers, News Center, Maine. Thanks, Sam.